Hey, welcome to the Rod Stalger Garage. Today we're going to be installing this all aluminum radiator into our third gen Camaro project. This radiator is built by Wizard Cooling and they also supply the brushless electric fans and the fan trap to go with it. As you can see, it'll be a direct bolt on and this is a direct replacement for the factory radiator. Should be a pretty simple install, so let's get started on it. Now that we got our factory radiator out, let's take a close look at the Wizard Cooling Radiator just so you can see some of the nice features that you do get with this radiator. Check it out. One really nice feature for this radiator is it comes with two coolant sensor bungs. One sensor, the larger one, is going to be for your cooling fans. This comes with the cooling fan kit and screws right in. The other, this is an eighth inch pipe thread. This is either for a sensor where you might want to use either a dummy light or an aftermarket gauge. Uh, we're already set up in our intake manifold for this, so we're actually just going to plug this one. Now you can see we've already got our coolant temperature sensor installed for our electric fans and we also got our plug installed since we're not going to use that hole for an aftermarket gauge or light. It's always good to use some thread sealant or some Teflon tape on your fittings just to make sure you get a good seal. We have our factory rubber mounts and they will slip right over like this. There's actually a hole in the body that this little tip will pull through to secure this in place and then we'll actually put the radiator inside. So we'll put the rubber pieces into the body first and then come back and lay the radiator in it. So now we got our radiator sitting inside the car. As you can see, I've got two different top radiator supports laid out right here for you. The first one that we're looking at right here is actually one for a V6 car. As you can see, it's got a place for the radiator hose over on the passenger this one side. will not work in this particular setup. The reason is, as you can see with it installed or laying on top of the radiator, it is not wide enough to get to our hold down points on the radiator. And here's the top radiator mount for a factory V8 radiator. As you can see, this one is wide enough and we can make it work. Where you have your interference issues is, is where the factory fan used to mount to this top cover. You'll actually have to come in here with a cutting tool or a Dremel and cut off all of this plastic right through here. Cut off all this plastic right through here to make it sit down nice and flush and capture these mounts. The third option we came up with was just simply bending up a piece of stainless steel and drilling some holes in it for the factory mounts. This will be a nice fit on our radiator. As you can see, we've made it to where it just overhangs by the fans and won't interfere with anything. Nice tight fit to the radiator. We've actually added some foam to the inside of it so that it won't be metal to metal. Should be a nice cushion for it and still absorb some vibration. And last but not least, we're going to tackle all this wiring. It's actually really straightforward, should not be a problem at all. A couple different options on how to wire yours up. You can run it through the ignition, or you can run it through a toggle switch style setup. Running through a toggle switch style setup, anytime you flip the switch on, these fans are going to come on automatically and they're going to be at max speed. If you run it through an ignition source, it'll actually pulse different. And you'll actually get a variable speed fan and that's the way we're going to set this one up every car is going to be a little bit different as to where you pull power from um, as you can see this car has been modified quite a bit there's nothing really stock underneath the hood alternator has been replaced everything's in different locations 
we've actually created a new fuel fuse panel underneath the hood. So I'm gonna tie my power into my fans right here. And then coming out of my ignition on the firewall over to here, I've already got a designated wire just for my ignition. So this will be a pretty simple install for us. Not every car is going to be this easy. We laid it all out before we started. So I knew where I wanted my power and everything to go. 